Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Facebook Live. I am Shalini and today we are going to be looking at the topic, let go and dream big. Let go and dream big. And I'm sharing seven reasons why you should go for your big dreams. And so if you are here live, uh, come in and say hello. And if you're watching on replay, um, do come in and you know come and say hello and if you and I have never met uh, I'm so glad you found your way here I'm Shalini Joshi Amdagni international physical and emotional pain relief expert and so you know I'm sharing these uh, weekly tips uh, strategies stories to move from pain to more peace and clarity and Someone's here, and if you don't come in and say hello, I don't know who you are, so do come in and say hello. And our topic today is letting go and dreaming big, right? So it's, I think we're at the last day of January, and a lot of us, you know, have been reflecting on what are our dreams, what are our goals. We've been making those resolutions and uh, I'm not someone who makes resolutions. I just, you know, create a theme for myself. And um, it's, it's a different process. But many people are, you know, um, thinking of their goals and dreams and have started moving uh, on that journey. But, you know, before you really move full steam, you know, I thought and I was reflecting on, on it myself as well. Like how often do we keep ourselves from dreaming the real dream that we really, really want at the core of our heart? You know, that dream that we push aside and we say, okay, I know I want to stay fit. And we go for those mundane, everyday goals for ourselves that, that keep us safe, sort of like, yeah, I, I, I'll, you know, if I do this, then um, I'll be good because then I'll achieve it. But we don't dare to dream those big dreams that excite us, that scare us, that, you know, make us uh, overwhelmed and yet super, uh, you know, pumped up and fired up, right? So, the topic today is let go and dream big. And we're going to be looking at, hi, Suparna. So nice to see you here. I don't know what time it is in the US. Uh, so great. I hope we get to catch up sometime. So the other way around. So today we are looking at, are you, you know, are you, are your dreams guarded? Are you going for the big dreams? And why bother? To go for the big dreams right because they seem more complicated so why bother more hard more complicated and all the data we have about big dreams um, and tips to go for the big dreams like what you can do I'll be sharing with, with you little little tips that I've you know done myself and of course I've read lots of books and experience um, and then also the get uh, you know the gateway to great accomplishments and adventures right all the things that have been uh, accomplished in the past have been because of these people who had big dreams and what i forgot to put over here is that you know when you ignore your big dreams what happens so i forgot to put that in here but i will share with you and it's key right it's key to why you want to go for the big dreams in your heart. So let's begin. So why dream big? Why, why, why do most of us stick to those guarded, guarded uh, dreams, the, those dreams that we you know, feel safe and like, yeah, I'm going to lose weight and I'm going to uh, drink more water and you know, those dreams which are very important they're not the, 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 the dreams that, that ring a, a bell in our soul, right? That fire us up. And so <clears throat> we have fears. We have a lot of negative voices. We have a lot of old data about, you know, what's been working for us, what hasn't worked for us, maybe past failures. And so 
it's it's natural for us to you know stick to goals that everybody else is going for right but why dream big right why dream big number one because you can <laughs> because you can you have a choice you get to choose so you know if you want to go to a small dream big dream you have a choice right so why dream big because you can nobody's put a gun on your head and said you can't dream that dream only you're doing it to yourself so dream big because you can because you can choose it dream big because you are following a core you know ache in your heart a true calling in your heart a, a, a divine guidance in your heart right we don't get dreams just random dreams and i'm not talking about those dreams like i want to have a lamborghini i want to have uh, five houses i want to have mm, a palace right i'm not talking about those dreams i'm talking about your unique dreams that you want from the core of your being right those dreams and so why you know uh, dream big is because those are the dreams that are already in your heart it's just you're not choosing to dream those dreams right you, you just kind of like tuck them and push them way down and you don't even want to think about it those are the dreams so number one you can choose so why not choose the big dream number two you'd be following your heart's calling right and you open up to more opportunities have you noticed i'm sure you've noticed when you try to go for that dream maybe it was writing a book maybe it was writing you know writing an email to this person because you wanted to ask something but you weren't sure and things opened up opportunities opened up people showed up you got in touch with somebody you attended a workshop and that led to something and that led to something and now you're here haven't you got those experiences i know you have right so when you say yes to those big dreams loads of doors start opening up for you to uh you know when you say yes to you life says yes to you and the universe starts gathering all the cooperative components to make that dream come true right so why go for your big dreams because you'll open up so many so many doors by making that one decision in your mind not even like out loud but in your heart you say yep i'm gonna go for that dream right so the doors will start opening up for you signs messages people i don't know all kinds of wonderful things start opening up so that's another reason to go for your big dreams you'll achieve more right right now you have a limited uh, you know thought process about what you want to go for but when you go you know in, in, into a bigger uh, expanded uh, you know expanded area right you achieve a lot more than you ever thought possible so why limit yourself why why limit you uh, to you know um, to just that much why not go for more you'll inspire others don't you know of people i know my my current mentor and my all-time idol joe vitale my goodness you know he was broke he was you know out on the street he was uh, he was at zero like he had nothing and today he is a mentor to millions of people he's you know living the lifestyle of the rich and the famous not that that's the goal but you know he went from zero to that and not only is he you know a self help type guru but he's you know he loves music he's a singer he's a songwriter he's a musician ah like there are so many things that he has expanded uh you know into by going for those dreams he was sharing with me you know at at a at a mastermind we were at that he was shooting breaks because he had to go on stage and sing his first 
live you know show in Austin Texas and he was so scared but that was one of his dreams right so if you just look all around you maybe not at people who've achieved those big heights but just around you your friends your 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 the people that you knew you know that you know and they've gone from where to where so if you allow yourself the opportunity to go for your big dreams you not only help you but you inspire so many more to do the same and you it's a ripple effect that we start creating right by saying yes to our dreams first and you live into your potential right because we are divine beings living in this physical limited body but we are not limited right our thoughts are not limited our choices are not limited even though it feels like that and so when you start tapping into those bigger dreams you start tapping into your full potential you know and so there are some you know i think there's six reasons i'm sure there's more but i hope this is you know uh building up some kind of a fire and a happy momentum and uh, inspiring you to go back and if you haven't been looking at those big dreams that you have for yourself to start looking at them now right and so what are what are some of the tips to go for the big dreams right what are the tips what can you do to go for the big dreams okay shalini i have this big dream what do i do how do i go towards it right so number 1 or you know it's not number one it's it's just different things you can do so dream vivid dream vivid um there is something called the reticular activating system in your brain and you can google it i'm not going to explain it here but when you vividly dream something regularly like you are you know you get into a space where you are vividly seeing what you want possible for yourself and you're there and you're living it and you can see it right and that anybody can do that right you don't have to have it in in front of you to touch it to to go there but you can vividly dream about it right so do these visualizations uh where you are actually dreaming live in the moment because your subconscious mind doesn't know what's real and what's not real and the more you keep you know activating that part of your brain and seeing it over and over and over you start believing it to be true you you put yourself in this happy happy place right this expectant place and things start shifting outside of you right it's an inside out uh thing so whatever you're doing inside of you you're creating outside of you so dream vivid let go of limited thinking right let go of limited thinking now there's so many things that can limit us of course when you dream big there's all kinds of people outside of you they'll say no that's unrealistic you know um i don't know anybody who's done that in our family in our in our community or you know we get negative uh, these voices of dissent from all different sources and the most dangerous ones are the ones that come from within because they lock us into this limited thinking and believing and so we we limit ourselves so be aware of the limited uh thought processes the limited ways you are you know talking to yourself and let it go right and it seems very easy let it go <laughs> but okay. how do you let it go this is not the this is not the you know session for it but i have lots of the eft tapping videos cleaning processes to clear out limited thinking the limiting feelings and i'll put a link in here so you can tap along right you know i tap if you're new if you're new here well you know i'm using every single day eft emotional freedom techniques it's a clearing tool to clear out old data old beliefs negative thoughts negative you know thinking heavy negative emotions clearing them out so that we can free ourselves up to receive what we truly want to receive so let go of the limited thinking and what happens when you let go 
right? You get inspiration, you get ideas, you get little nudges of guidance, which you quickly dismiss because you think, ah, that's not practical. But you want to act on that inspiration. Act on the inspiration, especially when I've cleared stuff and I'm just sitting for five minutes with it. You know, and maybe I ask, like, what do I do next? I'll get an inspiration. It's not from a place of fear. It's from a place of clarity. It's from a place of love. It's from a place of peace. And so I know that inspiration, I can act on it, right? And so act on the inspiration that comes. Don't dismiss it. Don't get scared. And the thing is, it might seem totally impractical. Sometimes the inspiration might be, what do I do next? And it might be, go for a foot massage. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. And you go for the foot massage and you bump into someone or you, you're, you're lying there so relaxed and you get more inspiration. It's like, you know, following the breadcrumbs, right? That's living in the moment. That's living from now to now to now. And that's how the universe speaks to us in every moment. If we are clear, if we have no clutter and we are open to, you know, and we create the space inside to receive, right? So act on inspiration and also get inspiration from your idols. I always feel so inspired when I look at some of the idols that I have, you know, Joe Vitale is one of them. And I feel like there, there, there are so many ways he inspires me and allows me to dream my dreams by, you know, um, by being vulnerable and, and I'm, I, I'm in a, you know, mastermind with him. And so we have these live, uh, calls. And if you have somebody in your life that is your idol, right? Maybe you are into singing, maybe you're into painting, maybe you're into cooking, maybe you're into, you know, I don't know if you're a mom and you want to be a better parent, look for idols around you and feel inspired to go for your big dreams, whatever they may be, right? Um, maybe it's, uh, you know, working from home like me. And what are other people, what are uh, idols in your life doing? Get inspired by them to keep on moving towards that big dream that you are harboring inside, but you haven't really allowed yourself to go for it. Okay? Do something daily. Little bit. Whatever it is, it might be a baby step, but you know, you want to, uh, what does my, my mentor Alex say? Um, passion doesn't create commitment. Commitment creates passion. And I have found that to be so true. I used to think, no, when you have passion, then you'll be committed. There's so many passionate people out there that are not living the lives that they want. Commitment produces passion. Commitment, daily doing something daily. Why? Because in my life, what I've noticed is when I do something daily and I show up for these Facebook lives every week, right? It's, it's commitment and that produces passion. It inspires me to move forward and keep going and keep moving. And so it's the commitment doing something daily, little bit, big things, right? That, that keep that momentum, you know how the momentum is, like you start a car and, and, and you put an in, you know, you turn on the key and then you go slowly, 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 and then you get to a steady pace and then there's this momentum that builds up. So do something daily. I hope this is making sense and seek support. There are so many times in my life when I've had these big dreams and I thought no way in hell and I tapped and I cleared and I read the positive books and all of that. But sometimes you just need support. And in my world, I go and find mentors that can directly, you know, guide me because they've been there. They've done this thing over and over and over, over with themselves, with thousands of others. Right. So seek support from someone who's who's already been there and done that. Right. If it's a if it's a 
I don't know, if it's a cooking class, go find somebody who can, who can guide you, whatever your area, your dream is. Maybe it's to be a singer, maybe it's to be a dancer like my, my daughter. Go find, go get support, go get expert guidance because you know, you'll know you'll get there because they've done this before. Plus, having someone believe in you more than you believe in yourself is so huge. Just that support alone, so many times I felt when I had the mentor behind me, I felt like I was falling into God's arms and I was going to be okay and I will get there, right? And so it's really important when you have a big dream, get expert guidance. If it's for your health, for your relationship, for your, for your job, for whatever, for whatever the area is that, you're, you, that, you know, that you have that dream about, okay? So that's, you know, that's, I hope that makes sense. Dream vivid, let go of limited thinking. I'll post a link, link. Um, take inspired actions, get inspiration from your idols, do something daily and seek support. So one of the things um, that I wanted to talk about is what happens when you don't go for your big dreams, which I didn't put in, in, my, in my today's list is, what happens when you don't go for your big dreams? Yes. This is what happens. You end up with diseases, you end up depressed, you end up in chronic pain, you have sleeplessness, you have anxiety, there's a feeling of disconnect from your life, from your relationships, from your world, right? You may end up with weight issues, you're feeling, you know, you're putting on weight or you have challenges with your weight all this stuff and you say what going not going for my big dreams can create this yep it can because when you have a dream when you have a desire when you have this burning aching inside of you that i really want to do this here's a story so i had a client who lived in my building and many many moons ago and uh, she was, you know, she was into something technical, like, um, I don't know, she was into engineering or, or something like that. And she was living with her husband, but she didn't get a job. So she thought, okay, why not take this time to build on my skills? And I think she was going to go for, um, she was going to go and, you know, do some online courses. But she came to me because she had lower back pain, right? And she's like, oh, you know, you do pain stuff and I've got lower back pain. And, um, and so I started talking with her because lower back pain has nothing to do with anything that you're thinking about and everything to do with what I'm talking about. So, you know, as we started talking, I said, so what are you doing? You know, what are you, and, and she started telling me the story about how she's thinking about, you know, she's feeling frustrated because she's here and her husband moved here to Thailand. And she's not uh, being able to do something meaningful. And I had been to her house once. And, you know, I saw these gorgeous paintings of, I don't know what that specific painting is called. It was full of it. And she just did it as a hobby, right? And uh, so I said, what, are you, what is your big dream? What, do you really, like, do, I've seen, I've gone to your house and you're so artistic and you're so, you know, into this. She says, oh, yeah, I just do that on the side, I just do it for fun, but I want to, you know, build myself and get this training. And um, when I really, you know, when we talked, what was very clear is her dream was to open a shop with all these Madhubani paintings, I think it was, and, and you know, to open this shop and have people come and create these and, and sell them and, you know, there was this big dream. And I said, what about the dream then? And she says, no, it's not possible because of this and this and this and this and this. Right? And that was the true dream. And here she was with lower back pain for months. Why? Because, you know, your seat of creativity, the sacral chakra, the second 
uh, chakra in your chakra system, if you know what I'm talking about, the energy centers is all about creativity. It's also about the sexual energy, but it's also the creative energy. And when that is blocked, that means you are not allowing yourself to get creative and express yourself in the way you truly, truly desire. The energy is blocked and it creates all kinds of complications in that area, the bladder, you know, all the, all the organs associated with that chakra, but it's also in the lower back. So you have lower back pain too and all kinds of diseases and you feel sad and you feel disconnected. So that's just one quick story, right? And so that's what's going to happen if you don't go for your big dreams. So that's not to scare you, but that's to inspire you to not give up on your big dreams. And so here's another, you know, important thing that I came across. I mean, I came across this many years ago. There's a book called Top Five Regrets of the Dying by Bronnie Ware. I don't know if that's, that's the way you pronounce it, but she actually wrote a book uh, she used to write a blog called inspiration and chai and her blog became so popular when she put this top five regrets of the dying she actually made it into a book right and, and 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 it's all over the place i'm sure some of you have read it if not go find it it's a blog top five regrets of the dying and so she was a nurse and she spent a lot of time with you know just 12 weeks before people were going to die and she uh, had so many of these stories, she started writing them down. And one of the top regrets of those dying people was, I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. Wow. I wish I had the, the courage to live a life true to myself. And those dreams that you have are yours and they're true to you. They're meaningful to you, right? And so why not? Uh, the other regrets, I think, if you're, if you're thinking, hey, what were the other regrets? Well, I think the other regrets was, uh, I had it somewhere. Okay, here very quickly. I wish I hadn't worked so hard. I wish I'd had the courage to express my feelings, right? So many of us just store it, store it, store it, and we find the person's gone, and we're like, I wish I'd expressed those feelings. I wish I'd stayed in touch with my friends, and I wish I'd let myself be happier. So why not let yourself be happier? Why not go for the dreams? You have a choice to dream between those small, regular, mediocre dreams and dream the dreams that are true to your soul, right? And here's uh, a great quote by Oprah Winfrey. You get in life what you have the courage to ask for. Have the courage to dream big, right? You get in life what you have the courage to ask for. So here's the question for you. Because everything that you want, those big dreams, already exist in the ethers of the universe. They already are there. And the question for you is, what will you choose today, today, to create a greater possibility for you, for your life, for your future? What will you choose today? Because everything that you've ever wanted exists in the universe. And so knowing that, knowing that everything that you ever could want exists, all the resources, all the people that could support you, everything already exists. So what would you choose today? What would you do today? How would you move forward today to create a greater possibility for yourself, for your family, for your loved ones, for your life, for your future? So I hope you will you know, uh, take some time to reflect on that. Uh, and, and I will too. So thank you for joining. I hope this was helpful. If you have any thoughts, any things that came up for you, do share in the comments below. And I will put up a link for the clearing technique to clear out limiting thoughts. Thank you for joining. And I'll see you in the next, um, in the next video, guys. Bye.